hi everyone in this video i am going to derive the scattering matrix parameters of isolator the method whatever we have used for the calculation of scattering matrix in the gyrator same we are using here so as the operation of the gyrator is different from the isolator the parameters are somewhat different okay though they are of two port devices now just before going to the calculation of isolator, what do you mean by is, uh, uh, isolator? Isolator is nothing but it is a device which transmits the power only in forward direction. Isolator is a device. Isolator is a waveguide which transmits power in forward direction which transmits power in only forward direction that means there is no backward power there is no backward power ISO later it transmits power only in this direction this is port 2 and this is port 1 see why I am discussing the operation of this isolator again because in order to simplify the parameters like S12 and S21 definitely you should know the working principle of this isolator so without knowing the working principle of any device you cannot calculate the scattering matrix parameters because the calculation of these parameters involves two types of properties a consideration of two types of properties one is the properties of scattering matrix another one is the properties of the, that particular waveguide whether it is isolator or gyrator or whatever it is okay now how many ports are there two ports so what is the size of the s matrix 2 by 2 so scattering matrix <coughs> s yes, matrix is having a size s yes, matrix has size a square matrix that is n by n it is a square matrix s yes, matrix scattering matrix is a square matrix it is having n by n size where n refers to number of ports and refers to number of ports what is the example here isolator for isolator how many ports are there two ports so n is equal to 2 in our case now the size of this s matrix is 2 by 2 size that is s is equal to s11 s12 s21 s22 this is the s matrix parameters now we need to calculate okay now isolator is a device where the input ports and output ports these two are perfectly matched to this isolator that means whatever the device we are connecting at this port 1 and as well as at port 2 that is perfectly matched with this isolator okay that means impedance matching is perfectly made so as port 1 and port 2 are perfectly matched as port 1 and port 2 are perfectly matched then yes 1 1 is equal to 0 and yes 2 2 is equal to 0 that means port 1 is perfectly matched there is no reflection when input is what do you mean by s11 is equal to 0 when input is applied at first port the reflection from the first port itself is 0 and similarly when input is applied at the second port reflection from the second port itself is 0 okay so s11 is equal to 0 and st2 is equal to 
zero. That's why it is perfectly matched. Now, what is the other property that we can consider with respect to isolator? So, in the case of isolator, what is the operation of isolator? When signal is passing from port 1 to port 2, there is no attenuation. There is no attenuation. When signal is passing from port 1 to port 2, there is no attenuation. And when signal is passing from port 2 to port 1, there is a 100% attenuation is there. When their signal will be coming back. Because the signal is isolated. Okay. Now, what about the parameters of S12 and S21? S12, S21. What about these two parameters? See here, S12. Consider this parameter S12. What do you mean by S12? In this case, when input is applied at the first port, output from the second port is 100%. That means 100% when input is applied at the port 1 with input, 100% transfer to the port 2 output. Okay, that means what is the amount of reflection coefficient? Is there any reflection coefficient is there? No. So, we can say S12 is equal to 0. Once imagine what I am saying. This is isolator. Okay, and it is port 1. It is port 2. Okay, when input is applied at this port 1 and the entire signal goes to the port 2 without any loss. Without any loss. So, no loss or no attenuation. No attenuation, no loss is nothing but whatever the power I am giving at this port 1 that is completely delivered to the port 2. Okay, that means no reflection coefficient is there. That's why S12 is equal to 0. This parameter is equal to 0. Okay, but what about S21? What about S21? S21 is 100%. It is reflected back. So, it will be equal to 1. Okay, we will prove that how it is equal to 1. But we know, we should understand that S12 is equal to 0. Because of this property of isolator. So, from property of isolator we can say s12 is equal to 0 we can say s12 is equal to 0 so s matrix now becomes s is equal to s11 it is s11 S12, S21, S22. Among these three parameters have become zeros. 0, 0, S21, it is 0. Okay. And it is yes. Now, use the unitary property. Now, we need to calculate what is this S21. Okay. So, use unitary property unitary property of s matrix now we are considering the s matrix property one of the s matrix properties that is unitary property so unitary property what it says s into s star is equal to identity matrix i so what is s 0 0 S21 0 into 0 0 S21 star 0 is equal to 1 0 0 1. Now
it is s21 s12 after multiplication of this one we will get s21 mod square is equal to 1 we can say s21 is equal to 1 because there is a hundred percent reflection is there from the input to the uh, from output to the input because the signal will be reflected back in the isolator when the signal is being transmitted from port 2 to port 1 as the as there is maximum attenuation from port 2 to port 1 s21 is equal to 1 therefore s matrix of isolator is 0 0 1 0 as matrix of the isolator okay thank you